Okay, in this video we're looking at another example of what may or may not be a disconnected graph. If you remember, a disconnected graph is just a graph that cannot be connected. In other words, I can't get from any vertice to another. So if I start at this vertex right here, this graph is disconnected if I can't get to every other vertex in the graph. So since, since we're definitely new at this, let's just meander around and test this. I walk down here, and I'm connecting these two vertices. I keep going. I can connect these two. All right, come back up to this one. I can go back to the original. I could have also gone this way or down here. I could have gone up here or down to this vertex up here, here as well, back, and then back up. I could have also, back at the beginning when I went down, have gone down here and then up here. So if you see that the blue path that I just traced, I started at this vertex, and I was able to meander and wander around to every other vertice in the graph. Therefore, this graph is connected. If there was, let's say, another line right here, and two, two vertices on it, this would be a, now a disconnected graph, because these two vertices cannot be accessed from the vertice we started with. Sure, it looks like there might be a way, right, to somehow cross over. But all of these intersections that I'm circling don't have vertices. They're not really points of connection, even though they might look like points of connection, just like these crossings here. They're called accidental crossings. They're not real crossings. They just might look that way by the they look that way because of the way we actually drew the graph. And we can draw it so that they don't cross um, in this case, but but um, we have to be careful, and that's why we label them with the vertices, right? We, we label the vertices to represent a real crossing. All right, hope that